Are you a homeowner trying to figure out what water heater to pick for your home? Maybe are you considering just going out and buying a water heater from a big box store? Or is it better just to let the professional go and buy it at a plumbing supply house? In today's video, guys, we're gonna go over three top water heaters. And at the end of the video, we're gonna give you our top pick. In addition, we brought in a leading water heater specialist that does this every day. So he knows exactly which water heaters he would prefer for his clients. So make sure you stay till the end and we're gonna get started right, right now. now. guys so here I am with my brother Jim and a leading water heater specialist Scott with affordable water heaters we wanted to take this moment and really break down some of the most popular water heaters the pros and the cons and kind of what we've all experienced with each brand and then in the end we're gonna give you our top pick so let's go ahead and start with Reem all right, folks, so here we are in front of a Rheem water heater. I think between all of us, we've installed at least about 1,200 Rheem water heaters, so we can sure give you the pros and cons of what we've all experienced when it comes to a Rheem water heater. Well, one of the pros, guys, is that uh, you can get a Rheem water heater in any of your box stores. So if it's a Saturday or Sunday, you've got a leaky water heater, uh, what's great about Rheem is they're everywhere. They're in all your box, uh, big box stores. I think one of the cons in, if you're really wanting a product that's made in America, Rheem is not gonna give you that. They're actually made in Mexico. So if that is a biggie for you, you might wanna consider another brand. What about the warranty, Scott? Now, warranties on Reams, uh, they do offer a couple different warranty levels, six, nine, and 12 years, but you're actually buying the same tank. So you're paying more just for them to honor their warranty for longer. Um, what most people don't know is they're a prorated warranty. So say your water heater, say you get a six year warranty, breaks down in five years, starts leaking, they're gonna give you probably $50 towards that prorated warranty. So it's not a full warranty. Um, so yeah. yeah. The other con you guys about Ream is that when you do have to initiate that warranty, their delay time, three to five days, with no hot water, that's yeah. not good. You could do spend a little bit more money. Is it like $100, Scott, that they can overnight maybe a part? Yeah, it depends if it on is where you're located. And I mean, if it's a Friday night or Saturday night, that means they're not getting it out till Monday morning, then yep. two, three days, if, unless you wanna pay an extra $70, $80 to overnight it. So yeah. there's a con there. The other con is this is not a self-cleaning dip tube. It's basically just your standard dip tube. So it's not gonna have that self-cleaning uh, mechanism within the tank itself. And what that means to you folks really is a lot more maintenance. So right. if you got a lot of scale buildup, you're gonna have a, a, a lifespan that's a lot less when you don't have that self-cleaning um, the last, for me guys, I've had brand new Rheem water heaters installed and they leak. I've had probably at least yep. a dozen of them leak on me. So my personal worst water heater is going to be the Rheem. I'm staying away from Rheem. Yep, I agree. And speaking of Rheem, their thermostat, it fails quite often. I think you can vouch for that, Scott. Yeah, yeah usually within the first couple of years, you're ending up having to replace the thermostat on them. Right. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead now and move to number two, which is the A.O. Smith. So A.O. Smith has been around a long time. Uh, again, another water heater that is uh, going to be uh, bought at a big box store. Overall, I've had a decent experience with A.O. Smith. What would you say, Scott, are yeah. some of the, the real big Hale issues? Smith is a decent water heater. Uh, one of the most problems I see with them, and they do have recalls for them, uh, their burner down below ends up going bad, gets a hole in it, and ends up backfiring. So basically you get a big explosion out of the chamber down here. Um, not safe, not good. Um, so that's one of my biggest complaints about them. Very common to have a bad burner, and then you're in that same situation. you got to call them three, four days for them to ship it out. and not a, good, not a good deal without hot water for a couple days. But they are ready to be available at your big box they store. Yep. The heaters are themselves, the parts are not. So Got it, yep. 
And again, uh, speaking of the dip tube, it's going to have the same standard dip tube. It's not going to have that self-cleaning. So again, it's going to require more maintenance yep. on flushing. And, and to be honest with you, I know you've had issues with leaky ream water heaters. I've had more leaky tanks with the AO Smith. So, uh, you know, you've had your issues with the ream. I've had my issues with the AO Smith as far as leaking the tanks. And again, guys, always remember, uh, anytime you install a water heater, make sure you check pressure. There's so many times where yeah. a homeowner will install it thinking, I've got a leaky water heater. They didn't really know what the cause is. It's fairly new. They didn't check pressure. Pressure is excessive it's gonna even blow out a brand new heater. So make sure you double check your pressure prior to turning on the water and regenerating it. So very, very important. All right, so let's go to a water heater that you can only buy at a professional plumbing supply house. Uh, we use Ferguson Pipe and Supply, they're nationwide. They carry the best of the best. And uh, for a water heater, that is top of the line is gonna be the Bradford White. Yep. Um, I think we all talked about this uh, video beforehand and we all agreed that by far the, the Bradford White is superior. And Scott, maybe you can tell um, our audience a little bit about how the self-cleaning works because that's what Bradford White separates them from everybody, every other manufacturer, guys, is their self-cleaning. It's absolutely amazing. Scott, yeah. explain so, that. Besides being the only ones still made in America, they have their propri proprietary uh, self-cleaning system here. They call it the HydroJet system. So what this does, anytime you use the hot water, it sends uh, pretty much jets out of this tube here and sprays down the inside of your tank. Uh, preventing that calcium buildup, the sediment buildup, which I know I've gone to many uh, other brand water heaters and it sounds like when you turn on the hot water there's a popcorn machine going on. Just because that big chunks of sediment in there is popping around anytime you use the hot water with the Bradford White, that prevents that uh, sediment buildup from happening. Yeah. So that really doesn't prevent though, the, the manufacturer still sort of is requesting that a a draining of the heater, still cleaning of the heater still definitely a good will idea help, to maintain but a lot less. It, but you're gonna get some sediment buildup, but not the big chunks like you do. Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah. And Scott, tell me a little bit about uh, as far as leaks of a water heater. Do you usually get them usually on the top? Do you get them on the sides? Do you get? I mean, you know, I've seen them all, and that's the thing about water heaters. Most people think this is the actual tank. It's not. That's just the casing. The actual tank is inside of this, so yep. there's no real way to see when or where or what causes it. Um, they are constantly under heat, constantly under pressure, so. Typically, they just start leaking from the bottom. Um, you do see them start leaking around the fittings up here where just the tank corrodes around those fittings that go into the tank. Um, and but, that's really a water issue, right? Yeah. Water quality issue. Yeah. And I mean, like I said, the tanks are constantly in water, pressure, heat. So yep. they're gonna fail eventually. But Bradford's, in my opinion, with this hydrojet system, lasts a lot longer and yeah. more reliable. One of the benefits, or I really have had a great experience, is the customer service at Bradford White, especially as a, a professional, they understand our pain out in the field. So, and also from the homeowner standpoint, so we go and install and there's a defect or the uh, thermostat's not working. If there's a part that's not working, they understand the consumer side and the frustration along with the plumber. So they're right there to really help facilitate making sure that we get that water heater up and running. Yeah, so actually that's a really good point, Dave. And that's, you know, when, a, when we install a Bradford White, guys, and there's a leak or there's an issue with Bradford White, what's great about it is that we get to go to our plumbing supply house like Ferguson, get the water heater immediately because they're going to have it in stock. All we need to do is take a picture of the serial number and the model number and we put in the claim, but you're up and running within 24 hours or even the same day. So right. there's a huge difference between buying from a plumbing supply house and a plumbing company versus a big box store for sure. And I think, I don't know what the cost of the water heater is, a big box store versus uh, at a Ferguson, so, but they're pretty about much the same, pretty about comparable. the same. Um, the only difference is you do have to have a licensed plumber contractor install Bradford White just because you can't buy them from a big box store. Right. So along with that, you're going to have to file a permit, have to bring everything up to code. So that's where the extra cost might come in. If 
depending on your condition of your existing tank, yep. where you need to be to have it up to code so the inspector can come and pass you off on that permit. Yeah, guys, and, and he brings up a very good point. As far as uh, covered, coverage warranty if you in all of the heaters if you don't have the expansion tanks if you're not having the pressure checked all that can void a warranty right. immediately so that's kind of the difference between hiring a professional versus doing it yourself if you do do it yourself i encourage you to make sure that you go through all the checklists to make sure that you're not going to void your warranty with that investment so guys those are the differences between a big box store water heater versus a plumbing supply water heater so we told you that at the end of this video we're going to give you our top pick and i think it's pretty obvious it's going to be bradford white hands down in fact we give bradford white three, three thumbs, thumbs up. up all right guys well, hopefully this was insightful leave your comments and make sure you hit that subscribe button as always thanks, thanks for watching, watching.